What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another jailbreak update video. Uh, this video is going to be geared towards answering a lot of your guys' questions, um, different devices, what you should do, what iOS version you should be on. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to cover in this video. I'm going to cover, um, in my opinion, what devices should do what for upcoming jailbreaks, just because there's a lot going on in the jailbreak world. There's honestly a ton of stuff. We got check rain. Uh, we got 13.1.3 that has, um, you know, a vulnerability or an exploit that's possible that might bring a jailbreak for that. Uh, and it's just a confusing time for people and they just kind of don't know what to do or what iOS version to be on. So I hope to clear up a lot of those questions in this one video. So hopefully you guys find this video useful. If you do, you know, definitely leave me a thumbs up. That really does help me out a lot here at the channel. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go through different devices and uh, what I think you should do. And uh, keep in mind, I've been jailbroken since I believe I was three. So I have a good understanding of uh, jailbreaking and, you know, all this different stuff. But anyways, so we're going to start out with iPhone 10 and older. So A11 or older, meaning iPhone 8, iPhone 7, iPhone 6. If you have an iPhone 10 or older... Um, you're pretty much in the clear to do whatever you want on iOS. Uh, there is a jailbreak that will be coming out here very, very soon called Check Rain. Uh, and this is a boot ROM based jailbreak. So it's a hardware based jailbreak. And uh, what's so amazing about a jailbreak of that caliber is you can basically be on any version of iOS that you want because it is a hardware based jailbreak. So Apple cannot. Um, update, you know, like iOS 13 to patch it just because it's hardware based. The only way that they could patch it is with new hardware. And obviously Apple's not going to come to your house and put a new chip into your phone. So those devices will forever be able to be jailbroken on any iOS version. So if you guys have any of those devices, no matter if you're jailbroken or not jailbroken, uh, you can basically do what you want. So if you're on, let's say, the the iPhone 7 Plus here and you're on iOS 12 and you're jailbroken, I would recommend to just stay there, stay jailbroken until Check Rain comes out. And then you can basically update to iOS 13 to the newest version and use Check Rain to jailbreak that. Uh, but until Check Rain comes out, I recommend you guys just to stay right where you are. It's always safest to stay on the lowest version of iOS. That is always the rule of thumb when it comes to jailbreaking. Always stay as low as possible until there's more information on what you should do. So, like I said, uh, iPhone 10 and older, super simple. You guys got an amazing jailbreak coming. I can't wait to use it on my 7 Plus. I think it's going to be an awesome jailbreak. Now, moving along to um, the A13 devices, so the newer iPhone 11s. Uh, what you guys should do. And this is also going to include A12 devices that are not currently jailbroken. So if you have the 10s, the 10s Max, or the 10R, and you're not jailbroken, uh, this will include you guys as well. So what I recommend you guys to do is to get on iOS 13.1.3 right now. If you guys are on 13.2 or anything newer than that, any of the betas or anything, downgrade to 13.1.3 right now while Apple is still signing it, you only have a bit of time to do this. If you do not do this, you will miss out on a potential jailbreak for iOS 13.1.3. If you're on anything below that, you can stay there as well because the jailbreak should work from 12.4.1 all the way up to iOS 13.1.3 as this is uh, an exploit that Apple basically patched in 13.2. Uh, but like I said, I highly recommend you guys, if you're on A12 or A13, the newer devices, get on iOS 13.1.3. I highly, highly recommend that. And do it now while Apple is still signing that firmware, because once they stop signing it, you will not be able to get to it. Now moving on to the gray area is what I like to call it. Uh, <clears throat> devices like myself, I'm on the 10s Max. I'm on iOS 12.0 and I'm jailbroken. What should I do to prepare for a jailbreak? Um, a lot of times people get confused whether they should lose their jailbreak and update to say 13.1.3 to wait out um, a new jailbreak. Um, I would recommend not doing that. It's your device. You can if you want. But if you're already jailbroken, just stay there. 
uh, what you can do is save your SHSH2 blobs for iOS 13.1.3. As you guys can see, I have mine saved here. This is for the 10s Max. I've saved my blobs for a, a couple of different firmwares here, uh, but specifically I did save it for 13.1.3. Now, when you save these blobs, basically what it's going to allow you to do is, let's say, in four months when iOS 13.1.3 is no longer being signed by Apple, uh, technically you cannot upgrade or downgrade to that version of iOS anywhere, but if you have these SHSH2 blobs saved, you can. You can use a program called Future Restore, and that will allow you to update say my device for example here I'm on iOS 12 uh, and if a jailbreak does come out for iOS 13.1.3 what I'm going to do is I'm going to use future, uh, future restore I'm going to update uh, this device to 13.1.3 and then jailbreak it that way and like I said with these blobs being saved the iOS version does not have to be signed by Apple anymore so it's incredibly important that you guys save your SHSH2 blobs uh, if you're like me on an A12 device and you're currently jailbroken, you don't really want to lose your jailbreak to wait for a new jailbreak just because I think that's kind of stupid. Uh, so the next best thing you can do is save these blobs and basically be ready uh, for the jailbreak in the future if it's released for that version of iOS. It's always best to just save your blobs for every iOS version. I've been done a poor job with that on this device. I have a ton saved for my 7 Plus, which is kind of irrelevant at this point since CheckRain's coming out. And like I said, CheckRain is a hardware-based jailbreak. So I have a ton of blobs saved for the 7 Plus, but I don't have very many for the 10s Max here. Um, and I recommend to always save your blobs for every new version of iOS. That way you always have that security of using future restore and restoring to any version of iOS you want, especially if a jailbreak comes out for that version. Um, and that's going to be basically it for this video, guys. I covered all the devices, all the different jailbreak and jailbreak rumored versions of iOS. Um, that's what I think you should do, in my opinion. Kind of a rule of thumb in the jailbreak community is to always stay on the lowest version of iOS if possible because it can better your odds of getting a jailbreak but i just wanted to cover everything in specific and hope uh, i answered a lot of different questions on basically what you should do to get ready for a jailbreak uh, but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been jeremy and i will catch you guys in the next one later